Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we will be talking about this little gem. This is a Herkimer diamond. And we're going to explore, is this even really a diamond or how does it compare to an actual diamond? Where can it be found? And what makes it so special? Starting with the first question, and that is, is it even really a diamond? Well, actually it is the mineral quartz and it is named the Herkimer diamond because it is from Herkimer County, New York. In that region, the diamond mines actually now have places where people that are camping can pay to dig their own Herkimer diamonds. Okay, so if these aren't actually diamonds and it's just quartz, then what makes these so special? Well, primarily it's the clarity of many of the specimens. Also, a lot of them come in different forms, but a crystal form being double terminated is common, and that makes them look pretty cool, kind of like diamonds when they're this clear and double terminated. Um, of course, just the name Herkimer is simply because of the location. Okay, so if a Herkimer diamond is not actually a diamond, what is the difference between a Herkimer diamond and a real diamond? Well, one of the biggest differences is in the hardness. Diamond's hardness is a 10, and quartz is a 7 on the most hardness scale. And while this may not seem like a big difference in numbers from 7 to 10, it's actually pretty significant when it comes to the way that the Mohs hardness scale works. It's actually a much bigger jump than what 7 to 10 looks like. Now, some other differences are in the crystal shapes from diamonds to quartz and the chemical composition. Diamonds are carbon-based and quartz is a silica-based mineral. And finally, there are also some interesting differences when it comes to varieties, especially when impurities are present. I'll talk about that in a little bit. And there are differences in the uses. Now, quartz and diamonds are used in some similar applications, such as jewelry and different industrial applications, but the diamond's hardness gives it some expanded industrial applications and even some uses for the hobby rock hounders who might be familiar with the diamond blade. Two interesting features commonly found with Herkimer diamonds is the double termination, which gives it those extra crystal faces, which makes them look extra cool, and a parallel growth habit, as you see here. Now, the Herkimer diamonds of the Northeast U.S. were originally discovered in the Mohawk River Valley during some really early 18th century mining there. And it's related to dolomite, which is a magnesium-rich calcium carbonate. Now, the story goes all the way back to the Cambrian, the Little Falls formation. However, the actual diamonds formed later in the Carboniferous in things we call bugs, which are these cavities that allow crystal growth. Some of the crystals contain interesting clues about the past in the form of inclusions that can include salt water or hydrocarbons or even carbon dioxide gases. This hydrocarbon and diamond correlation has led some miners to look specifically for hydrocarbon pockets when looking for the perfect crystal, a phrase dubbed chasing the carbon. Rather than oil per se, much of these dark inclusions are actually a material called anthraxolite, which is a type of coal somewhat similar to anthracite coal. So, do these Herkimer-like diamonds exist elsewhere? Actually, yes. There are the Cape May diamonds, for example, as well as some Herkimer-style diamonds that come out of Pakistan, as well as other places. So, do Herkimer diamonds deserve to be called a diamond at all? Well, as we've seen today, Herkimer diamonds are actually not diamonds. They are a form of quartz, quartz being a very ubiquitous mineral found all over the world in all types of rock forming environments. The term Herkimer diamond itself isn't even really a form of quartz like say amethyst is. Instead, it's more of a locality name that has just gotten trendy to use and specifically good for marketing Herkimer diamonds. So we know where they come from and what qualities they have. One of those being the double termination but like we said double termination is something we can find in other quartz varieties and finally no there is no scientific evidence that herkimer diamonds will help you with your attunement skills 